What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Doyle back with another video, man. Today's video, we got a little Q&A for the Sniper Series, man. I've been constantly getting these questions, man, and I just want to just make a video. I just want to make a video so you can go to this when you're trading fibs and you, you got a question, just come to this video. So, um, yeah, before I get started, man, as you can see in the background, man, I have a whole new setup, bro, and I am loving it, bro. This is... I don't know why I didn't have multiple monitors, but now it's just like, I just see the market completely differently, man. That bum ass TV that I had, it was terrible, man. So yeah, man, extremely blessed. But okay, let's get to this video, man. I have eight questions that I constantly get that people just keep asking me. So I'm just gonna answer it right here. Um, what's the best time frame for your strategy? I like the Fibonacci on the 15 minute chart. That's my favorite time frame to look at fibs. If I don't see none on the 15 minute chart, I'm hopping down to the five minute. I'm not going no lower than that. You feel me? I'm just not. Some people um, like trading a one minute chart, but that's just not me. I, my favorite, my favorite is the 15 minute chart. If I don't see none, five minute chart. Hope that answers your question. Um, do your does your strategy work on the higher time frames? Yes, man. I recommend the one hour. Now the four hour, yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes and no, because that's flirting with swing trading. Swing trading is just like, eh, yeah, I don't really like swing trading. The daily, don't recommend. I don't recommend fibs on the daily. No, bro, I don't. But um, I do recommend the one hour over the four hour. But if you see a four hour fib, take it. But it does work on the higher time frames. Third question, does this work on the one minute chart? Yes, but I don't recommend it, man. It's so many fake outs, it's so many false moves, the candlesticks, you can't trust the candlestick patterns. It's just, bro, I don't recommend it. You know what I'm saying? Some, this one guy, he messaged me like, man, your strategy work on um the one minute chart on US 30. It, man, bro, it, the, one minute, the one minute chart works, I just don't recommend the one minute chart, man. It's just so much false moves, man. You're gonna be getting stopped out a lot. Your stop loss is so tight. And don't let no news be coming out. You on a one minute chart. Do you understand those those candles are have, gonna have a lot of volume. It's gonna hit your stop. So don't recommend one minute chart, but it does work. That's, I'm just saying. Fourth question. Can you trade your strategy with crypto? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. It does work very well with Ripple, okay? I'm just saying right now, it works very well with Ripple. I don't recommend Bitcoin. I ain't gonna lie, I don't recommend Bitcoin, but Ripple definitely, for sure. So if that's something y'all wanna get into, trade on the weekend, or if your broker trade on the week weekend, I will rock with Ripple, for sure. Um, uh, fifth question, what is the importance of the different color fib points? Now this one is a, this is actually a good question. So my major fib points are yellow. My minor ones are white, okay? Now the yellow major fib points is for the higher time frames. So since my, okay, so if I see a yellow fib point at a certain area, go to the um, the 30 minute chart. Cause like, like I said, I like my um, fibs on the 15 minute chart. Go to the 30 minute chart. When you see the 30 minute chart, you're going to see a white fib point. It's only gonna be one of them. So the so the yellow fib point is the white fib point on a 30 minute chart, if that makes sense. And if you see a yellow fib point on a 15 minute chart, that can also mean it's a white fib point on the one hour. So the major fib points are the higher time frames fib points. You get what I'm saying? When it's a minor fib point, that's strictly for that time frame. Let me I'm gonna say it again because I know y'all gonna get completely confused. My minor fib points are white. My yellow fib points are, uh, I say my yellow fib points. My, my yellow fib points are for the higher time frame, right? When you see a yellow fib point, it's for the 30 minute and the one hour. That At that exact point, it will be on a higher time frame. You get what I'm saying? When you see a white fib point on a 15 minute chart, that's strictly for that time frame. So the yellow ones are for the higher time frames, okay? I'm not gonna repeat it. 
Um, the sixth question, why is the fifth point lagging? Bro, it's an indicator. You know what I'm saying? It's an indicator. Take them off and learn market structure, man. Learn swing lows and swing highs. Higher lows, higher highs, man. They are training wheels, but they can hinder you if you don't know why they're there, man. For real. They're gonna lag. All indicators lag. You know what I'm saying? Um, next question. What is your ideal fib setup? Bro. Okay, this is my ideal fib setup. 15 minute chart. New York session. Entry is bouncing off of a moving average with divergence. If I see that, I'm over leverage. So now I'm just playing. Don't do that. But for real, that's my ideal setup. I'm gonna say it again. 15 minute chart. New York session. Bouncing off a moving average with divergence. If I see that, um, bro, I'm loading up straight up. Um, is this the only strategy you use? No, no. I've been training fit for so long. I have implemented another strategy, bro. You know what I'm saying? I like. Once you get really good at fibs, you're gonna wanna learn more, man. Because once you learn another strategy, you don't need to trade every pair. You don't need to trade five, six pairs because if you have another strategy, you just look for those two strategies in the day. So that's just something to think about. But um, that was the main questions that I got, man. I'm not gonna lie, man. It was a lot of questions about the fib points. People confused, why is the fib point um, color changing? It's because the, the higher time frame has created a fib point. So it just, the fit points, you don't really need to put so much emphasis on it because all you need to do is just no market structure, man. That's all you need to do, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't really need the fit points like that. I keep saying that. So, man, just keep practicing, man. I hope these questions help you, man. Um, if you got any more questions about my strategy, just, just comment below and I'm going to ask them or just DM me. You know what I'm saying? Um... If you still want to sign up for the one-on-one -on -one session, I'm going to, this Sunday, I'm going to um, go on Instagram and announce it to everybody. Like, all right, I'm, I'm back accepting people for the one-on-one -on -one session. So if you're interested, just hit me up on Instagram and we're going to get you right. But uh, that's all I got, man. I hope y'all have a good weekend. You know what I'm saying? Um, today, I'm actually not going to be back to this. I just want to just enjoy my day. You know, like you can't just keep obsessing not 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 obsession but i want to say just constantly not enjoying yourself go do something else man go go watch tv read a book or something go chill with somebody don't always be on a chart all day because when you get to when the market open you're going to be so eager to trade you're going to force a trade man so step away sometimes it's okay to step away that's all i got man peace and love i'm out